Oh my goodness. All right. Happy, um, happy Saturday afternoon. Um, I got on to basically show you guys how to make, well, I'm going to try to actually make an apple cranberry crumble with the leftover cranberries from Thanksgiving. I had made some fresh uh, cranberry sauce at that time and so now I'm gonna make this crumble because I'm kind of in a baking mood and um, I found this recipe so I want to give it a try so a bunch of ingredients in here and I will post all the ingredients after um, but um, sucanut is uh, the sweet and um, this is uh, the brand that I'm using uh, you can pretty much use any brand uh, but this basically is only 15 calories per per teaspoon and um, it is basically cane sugar natural cane sugar so that's that one and then whole wheat flour um, cinnamon of course you cannot have a crumble without uh, cinnamon and um, it called for granny smith apples but I don't have any, so I'm gonna be using Fuji, so they're all thinly sliced here. And um, old-fashioned oats, which I've already pre-measured here, the old-fashioned oats. Um, so that's like the raw cut oats. Um, instead of maple flakes, I'm gonna be actually using maple syrup, so that's uh, that substitution there. And then um, baking powder and um, canola oil and then some apple juice and I happen to have found one of the kids juice boxes which is 100% apple juice so I'm gonna use that so and of course how could I forget the big reason why I'm even doing this recipe is the fresh cranberries so there you go so it's pretty simple heated up into 375 went ahead and pre greased the um, 8x8 tin and I use this stuff which is really good it's like it's called cake release and it basically uh, allows for it literally is is a combination of oil and butter I think and basically it allows for whatever you're baking to easily be removed from the can so I use this a lot I think I got it at Walmart or something all right so the first thing is in the large bowl to combine the um, sucanat, which is like, again, pre-measured, and um, the flour, and that was only two tablespoons. So, not a whole lot of flour. All right. So two tablespoons of flour, and then um, the cinnamon, which was literally not much either, which is half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. There you go. Not a lot. And then the apple slices, we'll add that. And then we'll also add the cranberries. And then I'm going to mm -hmm. put it down so you can actually see the mixture. And just mix it all up. I probably should have put it in a bigger bowl. So that's the first lesson. Put it in a bigger bowl. All Sorry for moving all around, but there is what it looks like. So just kind of mix it all together. And then the next step is once you've done that is to mix together the, um, the oats, the maple syrup and the baking powder and salt. Baking powder was only a quarter teaspoon. And the sea salt, 
I don't think I mentioned that as one of the ingredients with sea salt. That's another quarter teaspoon. And then it was um, a quarter cup of the, the maple. Maple flakes or maple syrup. And then you mix that together. All right, and then the last thing that we do is in a separate bowl, we'll do the apple juice. Hey, Bobby Joe. We'll do the apple juice, which was literally one tablespoon. So again, not a whole lot. So funny using a juice box. <laughs> one tablespoon of apple juice and um, the oil, which again was not a whole lot either. That was one and a half tablespoons. All right, and then we have the three sections which are gonna come together here. Um, so once we do that, then basically we will stir up the, stir up the oats and maple. Let me turn this around so you guys can see. Can you see? So this is the, the oats and maple mixture here. And then this is the, um, the cranberry flour um, apple mixture here. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. And then um, here we have our uh, oil and apple juice. So then we basically add the oil and apple juice to the oat mixture. So, let it dry. Mix that up. All right. And then I'm gonna put this this batch actually into the pan. So I'm going to put the phone down to do that. All right, and then basically combine all the ingredients. So put the put the um, the cranberries and the apples into the pan and then top it with the um, the oat mixture and then bake it for about 35 minutes and then it should it should be all set so I'll take a picture of it when it's all done so you guys can see but that's basically our cranberry crumble it's pretty simple and easy to make and um, hopefully you would have all the ingredients on hand so you can make it have a great Saturday bye bye